Hello and welcome to the Violin Podcast YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to click subscribe. Can't remember which side it is here or there. Kind of new to this. I think it's this side. We're gonna do the first DIY tip to get a better bow hold. Here we go. Now before we begin, we have to understand that there are three, three or four different kinds of bow holds out there. There is the Russian bow hold, there's a German bow hold, and then there's the Belgian Franco bow hold. And for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be talking about the Belgian Franco bow hold. All right, so now for the DIY portion, I have my scissors, I have my paper towel tube that I got from a recent paper towel, and let's do some DIY arts and crafts. And to be honest, I haven't done arts and crafts in a long time. Let's see how we can do this here. Alright, so now we have something that looks like this, right? So whenever I'm teaching a bow hold to a beginner, what I like to do is I like to have the violin, the new violin beginner, put out their right hand. In this case, it'll be your left, but it's my right. We put the violin, in, violin bow hold in a fist, and then we let go of the fingers, and then we slide this paper towel tube over here, making sure that all the fingers are bent, especially the thumb and the pinky, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna flop the wrist. And then all the fingers over here should have some space more or less to have a nice balanced bow hold. And again, most importantly that we want the thumb to be nice and bent, what I like to say bump in your thumb, and uh, pinky, uh, have the pinky curved on the pinky tip. And what I like to tell my students is that the finger should be like a waterfall. Uh, waterfalls are never at an angle, right? There's some kind of curvature. There's some kind of curvy line that goes around. So giving them that kind of imagery in their head will really help them uh, kind of imagine that like, you know, waterfalls, um, you know, water is really smooth and to keep a really relaxed bow hold. So again, just step by step, we have the right hand, the bow hand, put in the fist, let the violinist relax that right hand use this paper towel, slide it underneath, making sure that all the fingers are bent, and then we flop the wrist. And it's also important to note that we don't want the elbow down because even though if we flop the wrist, our wrist will be below the instrument. So making, making sure that the elbow is a lot higher, having this straight line and curvy fingers everywhere, bump in your thumb, pinky on the tip, and there we go. If you're a student uh, who's um, five or six or seven years old, feel free to decorate all of this. I think this is really fun for young beginners to do like a little arts and crafts project. So make sure you're gonna color all of this to make it to make it fun and uh, an enjoyable experience. Hey, okay, thanks for watching our first DIY video. I think that was a lot of fun. And if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. We're gonna be doing DIY videos, how-to tutorials. If you haven't checked out our how-to tutorial on getting the best sound from Zoom music lessons, make sure to click on uh, the YouTube channel and you'll be redirected straight there. All right, until next time.